My name is Barry Schleifer. I was uh, ETN3 when I got out. I went in as a seaman. Uh, high school, I was uh, joined the Naval Reserves, and while I was in high school, I, I went to Naval Reserve uh, meetings once a week. After we got out of high school, uh, I went into the regular Navy. Uh, I went down to Mayport, Florida, and that's where I picked up my ship. It was the USS Harbor DD-861. As a, I was a seaman when I went in, therefore I'm not really rated, so I ended up having to be a boatswain mate. Now I already had uh, electronics in high school and college preparatory classes, an electronics background. Uh, but while I was on as a seaman, I had to do uh, a lot of grunt work as a boatswain mate, swapping decks, sanding, painting, what have you. Uh, our first. Uh, Trip we went down to an island off of Puerto Rico just to learn how to operate the guns. Uh, Mount 52, Mount 51, 5 inch 38 guns. Uh, as a boats and mate, I stood watches. I also uh, did my boats and mate work. Uh, because I had that background in electronics, uh, somewhere during my tour, I took the, cl the class for ETN 3 and I passed it. And I became ETN3. Uh, there was another interesting thing uh, going back in time here. When we were, uh, I think it was in Puerto Rico, we had our, our anchor down, we were out on the ocean, had our anchor down and our windlass burned up. We couldn't bring up the anchor. So uh, they had to bring out a sea going tug from Puerto Rico to uh, cut the uh, chain and they had brought the chain up on their tug with their windlass. We and by they brought it back to some pier in Puerto Rico. We finally got into Puerto Rico and our chain was flaked out on the pier back and forth, going like 20, 30 feet. A lot of chain. Uh, the anchor was in the water, but the chain was flat. Both. And I can remember sitting next, uh, when we were moored up to the pier and uh, we had to get that chain on our ship, so they had a bring a crane up, uh, tie a cable on to bring it over to our windlass where you could connect it to what was left on, well, the weight of that chain. And there's like about 30 feet between the bow of our ship and the pier. The weight of that chain is just, is just sank. Well, this, this chain is whipping off back and forth, back and forth, going into the water. And I remember seeing this, this guy putting his foot on her chain like you would on the rope, kind of stop it. No way he was going to stop it. This thing was whipping. Finally, we got the back. But anyway, that was in the early part of that cruise. Anyway, from Puerto Rico, we went through Panama Canal. Uh, we went to uh, San Diego, Alameda. We went to uh, Midway. Went to Guam, uh, Hawaii, sorry. Guam, Midway. Midway at that time had all these Goonie Birds. You've heard of the Goonie Birds, where they crash dive. That was kind of interesting to watch. We got off on shore for maybe about uh, two hours while the ship was reaching. From Midway, uh, we went through San Bernardino Straits. That's an hour uh, straits in the Pacific Ocean. And what we went through there, we had the, uh, there was a volcano that was spewing lava. We could see that at night. Uh, from there, we, we got to, uh, this was a West Bank cruise. This is the only time that the ship was in, in a war zone. Uh, and uh, we arrived, I guess, in early part of May of 1968. I, was, I went on board in 67. 68 is when we arrived at uh, the gun line in Vietnam.